Libra, Libra, what it be, bruh? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at you again. This is a bonus video for you guys being the most viewed this month. So, shout out to all my Libras. Yes, indeed. You know I love you, baby. You know I do. So, we about to dig into some twin flame energy surrounding, um, you know, Libras, you know, for the month of... Um, March. So let's see what we got for you guys. Let's get into the prayer first. Oh, I'm jumping way ahead of myself. First off, shout out to everyone who has been liking, sharing, and subscribing my videos. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Big up to you guys. I hope that you guys like what I do in the morning, my morning slide. I hope you guys enjoy all of my content. Thank you guys for sticking it in with me. Um, if this video resonates with you, if you want to book a personal and private reading, you can do so by clicking that About tab. All right. There's a hyperlink. And it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. This video resonates with you and you want to give a love donation. There's a PayPal link in the description. Let's get into the prayer. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Libra. Thank you so much for all of the love and support and all of the insight that has been given for the sign of Libra with the first sign for the month of March 2019. Thank you so much, Father God, for all of that insight and all of that guidance. Please give the sign of Libra additional guidance. This is a bonus reading for them, so please give them additional reading in regards to love, life, career, finance, romance. Please give them overall guidance to bring them to love, happiness, true abundance, Abundance, happiness and freedom thank you again father god for giving us guidance in the past present and future please give us guidance additional guidance for the month of march for the sign of libra thank you again all right now let's get to the shuffle we ready, ready jump on in right all right so let's get the overall energy see what's going on with libra for the sign of Libra. Thank you so much. Looks like you're pouring out an offer for sure. Paying more attention to what you really want in life. Okay. I wanted to flip over. Alright. Or not anything that has anything to do with any toxicity, anything where you're not getting any type of clarity and truth. You're blocking messages. You're not, you're not, you are not receptive to any messages from people that are not coming to you with anything solid. And that's going to be something where you could work towards something in the true future. It's the Ten of Cups. You want true happiness. And right now, Libra is experiencing true happiness. And this is the Empress card. She is building. She is growing. She is creating. And she is very comfortable in the state that she is in. And she don't have no time for nothing else. She don't have no time for nothing else. Like I said, Libra is pouring out anything that is negative and toxic. And something that feels is a burden. And it's bounding and trapping Libra. Have it be male or female Libra. They're blocking it out of their life. They are finally paying attention that this is not good for me. And I'm rejecting that offer. So listen. It will never be any truth or clarity there. Never. And as long as Libra continues to facilitate. You know. And I feel like that word facilitate. is I said that for a reason. Facilitate. This toxicity, Libra will never be able to think clear, will never be able to really, you know, make true decisions and find truth and clarity in regards to what it is that they need to do in their life. Because this was a barrier, a burden on Libra being able to truly create and be free. Libra is like, I don't want that no more. And I won't entertain it no more. So please stop sending me messages. I don't want to start nothing new. I don't want to build on nothing. I don't want to try to plan on working things out. I don't want to do anything. So please stop sending me messages about anything. Because you know this is the retrograde. So maybe somebody is from the past has been this toxic person. Look, this toxic person that laid down and fucked Libra before. Libra was like, you don't fucked me enough. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Because right now this current state the Libra is in, <laughs> Libra's family is happy. 
emotionally secure. Libra feels beautiful. And or the Libra male has found a woman that is truly the essence of true beauty. This is someone that they want to create with. This is someone that they can see being the mother of their kids that they trying to impregnate. You know what I'm saying? This is Libra. The Libra men, they done found them a true empress. You know? And, I, and, and, and look, some of the Libras might be expecting. I feel like there's true emotional happiness. They may be expecting, and if not expecting, a new child, new birth of a, of, you know, a new life. If it's not new life, you guys have birthed a new life for yourself. Where you're having complete emotional fulfillment. Do you understand? So shout out to my Libras. Libras is like, please stop sending me messages. I don't, I don't want to work on nothing but you. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, that's, <laughs> like, I don't know what you talk, look, I ain't drunk no more, I ain't drunk off no love anymore, and even if I was, nigga, I probably is a little intoxicated right now, I'm still pouring this shit out, because it don't even taste good, it don't taste good, I'm not paying you no attention, not at all, mm-mm, child please, I'm awoke and I'm awake, I'm, 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 I'm clean and pure, okay, no more intoxication, look, no more intoxication and burden, all right, no, mm -mm. because you know that the devil card in the upright, this is an addiction. This situation was an addiction. Do you understand? It was hard as hell for Libra to get out of that situation. Libra had to fight their way about that situation with that person. That was a burden. That person, you see how the devil is over top of them, and you see all the little. All the little demons in the background laughing and shit like that. Y'all were being controlled by negative energy. And you say, uh-uh-uh. That shit, that, that ain't even my flavor no more. That ain't even my flavor. Alright. Please give Libra additional guidance and love. For the month of March. Let's give Libra... Oh, like I said, you're a rich... You are reinventing yourself. You don't found you a new muse. Ooh. What would you don't with who what? Your money. Money. Why did I sit this down? Admire. Okay. So look. This is the thing. Libra realized. And, and don't be offended by what I'm about to say. But I got to deal with the cards that. I laid out here on this table. Okay. So. At this current time. Libra is reinventing their self. They've released their self from this energy. They're realizing that that's what was. Putting them in the place where they were not able to think clearly. They're blocking that communication. And um, they're reinventing their self. And they. They have a new. A Libra has a new inspiration in life. Has a new inspiration in life. Because. This situation taught Libra that trying to put other people before their self, it affected their material world. You know, you can't put people ahead of yourself and allow it to affect everything that you worked hard for. Trying to give yourself to somebody that ain't giving shit to you. This person, you didn't feel admired and you felt at the end of the day, you had to rebuild your self-worth in this situation. Do you see? So Libra is like, that is their inspiration. That is their muse for trying to reinvent their self. Do you understand? Because Libra is like, I want to be admired. I want to make sure that I know my self-worth at all times. And I know when I was operating on this vibration, not only did it affect my financial and my material world, I was being taken advantage. This person made me feel like I wasn't, you know, this person didn't love me. And I lowered my self-worth trying to give to somebody that didn't even admire me and appreciate what I was doing. So that's why Libra wants to reinvent their self. And that's nothing to be, listen, I've definitely done it. Can't no woman, can't no man, can't no woman, can't no man on this face of this earth ever say that they were not in a situation that 
they knew was toxic. This devil energy was toxic. That's why you poured it out like that. But you can't think straight. You know, it's affecting your your financial world. Like, you know, listen, I done been there. I done been there. I done had to call out a day or two because I, you know, had to ride back home at this, you know, find out if I have to fuck a nigga up. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, so, for people that are dealing with, let me clean this up. So people that are dealing with twin flame situation. So that's the overall energy. Like Libra is just they they just not they ain't got it to do. So for people dealing with twin flame situation, let's get into that. Okay. So let's find out what's going on with the divine masculine from the sign of Libra. Let's find out how the divine masculine feels about Libra at this current moment. How does the divine masculine feel about Libra? Then we will find out how the, divine, how the divine feminine feels about Libra. How does the divine masculine feel about Libra? There go that empress again. I told you, use the bad bitch. Come on, girl. You holding yourself back from him. Mm-hmm. He's, ooh, okay. Mm. <laughs> All right, so listen. This is how the divine masculine feels about the sign of Libra. Right now, they feel like the sign, they're a little bit upset because the sign of Libra does not want to emotionally give to them. This is the page of chalices and if you look at this in the upright this man looks pretty upset and you see under the moon their intuition is telling them that Libra is happy somewhere else they might not know who where when what or how but something has them in their bag and they are emotionally confused uh, and not in a good place this person is pissed off because they feel like they're advances towards Libra have been rejected and that Libra is not emotionally given them given to them in a in the place where they feel secure emotionally like this person feels insecure this person feels emotionally neglected this person feels emotionally abandoned this person is an emotional wreck right now they're looking at Libra like you know, ever since we haven't been together, like, you done bossed up. You done glue up. You you got that glow on you, Libra. Do you understand? And they're upset because you are not accepting their messages of love. And Libra is just sitting here looking like a bad bitch. Like, um, I told you, I done stepped into a whole new, a whole new me I'm comfortable I feel I feel and I know I look delicious I'm just in my judge right now like I cannot be bothered like I'm unfuckwittable I'm creating and yeah I mean like Libra you out here looking that good I, I feel like my Libra ladies my Libra ladies, y'all don't really, especially if y'all don't broke up, y'all not in this. Because, I mean, the Divine Masculine is telling me that you have, I mean, in the, in, it was saying in the other spread, too, that you're not really being receptive to these advances of love, nothing. you just sitting over here looking delicious. <laughs> and you're holding yourself back from this person. This person is trying to... You see how this man is like in, in the night almost. Like why this woman is asleep trying to sneak some nookie. And it's like that's literally what this person would have to do with Libra. Because she is not giving herself to this person. This is the four of pentacles. This is someone being stingy. This is someone holding back. Holding their self off. You know. Because they're trying to protect their own investment. Libra is like I'm in my empress glow right now. And I am protecting that and I am holding myself 
back from people that are non-deserving and don't understand my value and that I am that bitch. You might not have known it then, but you know it now, don't you? <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. This is that seven of cups. Whereas though in the past, Libra was confused and, you know, allowed a lot of things to affect their decisions and they operated off of emotions almost and it kind of got Libra in a lot of shit. Libra is Libra is in a point where it's just like I'm only selecting things that ultimately serve me. I can't just be, you know, tempted to select a cup just because it seems like it's something that would give me immediate pleasure. I'm looking for long time loving. I'm looking for long time. Love me long time. You understand? I'm not looking for something that's just going to be here. And it might taste good right now. But once it get down in my stomach, I'm going to be running to the bathroom trying to take a shit. Like, no, I don't want nothing that's going to fuck my stomach up. You know what I'm saying? Like That's like McDonald's. It's fast food. It's fast, quick. But it's going to fuck you up in the long run, girl. You might as well have just went home and just made your dinner yourself. Just spend the time. You understand what I'm saying? So Libra is just like, no. Libra, Libra has reinvented their self and the divine masculine is seeing that it's seeing that you are the Libra females are rejecting you're rejecting these men because you are like listen <laughs> do you see this ball shit right here I'm rejecting you because I'm a boss bitch. I'm holding myself back and I'm being stingy right now because I know I know quality and I only select and I only choose and I deal with the finest of fabrics and the finest of wines. Honey, you need a little bit more aging and refinement on you. You you ain't it yet. You ain't it yet. But oh, the divine masculine is like, uh uh, I'm about to let you go that easy. I ain't about to let you go that easy. This is them being the magician. Okay? They said, I knew in the past how to control Libra. I know what makes Libra ticks. I always had a certain level of power and control over the situation. So, Divine Masculine is feeling like, I don't give a fuck. How? I don't give a fuck how top flight pussy she thinks she is right now. I really don't. Because she might not be listening to me now. Look, she might not be listening to me now. But I'm going to figure out what it is I got to do. I'm going to use my magic. I'm going to use my powers. And I'm going to get her to figure out how to... I'm going to get her to work with me. She's going to accept. You know? This is like almost someone using their power to get you to accept. Uh, you know, working together with them on something that you don't want to do. You know, and this is possibly something that could have involved a third party relationship, because as you can see, this is this is the three of pentacles. So, you know, the three of pentacles and the upright, this is someone working together on a foundation, willing to even if need be go back to school, um, seek counseling, um, go get some ministry from the church or whatever that they need to do to make things work. Putting that time and putting that effort in and, you know, if need be having to, you know, include other people to show y'all how to make things work together. You know, this in the reverse, this is someone I don't want to work on anything with anybody. Like, I, I don't want to work on anything with you. I don't I definitely don't want to seek no counsel. And I definitely don't want to be in no situation where you're trying to include an unneeded unnecessary people in this equation than it already is so this could mean a third party as a third party it could be a family member like someone's mother could be getting in the way of y'all's commitment you know like this person could be saying to you like libra you know i know you and my mother don't get along but i'm willing to use my power and you know do a little tricks and little manipulations or whatever you know, to encourage you to look past this and get you to work and to be there, even though I know you don't want to be there because this is what I want. You know, this is what I want. Okay? So, 
and or it, it, like I said, it could be a family member. It could be a job that's getting away. Um, the divine masculine could work too hard and they too focused on their money with their three of pentacles. And they probably weren't paying attention to Libra and weren't putting her first. And it's like. Libra might have left because she's like, look, I'm a, I'm an empress. I'm a queen. I need someone who is going to value me and is going to pay attention to me. Okay? Not just while I'm asleep, sneaking in in the middle of the night, trying to give me sex. No, I need someone that's going to be around in the present during the daytime that I can actually feel, you know, like, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. And Libra is being stingy. And this divine masculine is like, I don't give a fuck what you think you do. <laughs> You gonna do this after you like it or not. Cause I know I know how to get you. I know how to get you. Hmm. Is that right, Libra? He know how to get you. He know how to get you. Give me some. Let's see what the doing virtue. Give me some love guidance in regards to this. Divine masculine that Libra females are dealing with. Soulmate. Oh. 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 Oh, what is this? Just so. Oh. There we go. We are reloading. So, if you want the truth, the whole truth, or nothing but the truth, man. Uh, uh, oh, fuck it. I don't. What is it? If you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, man, set you free. So help you God or something. I don't know, girl. Don't get me to start now. Anyway, listen, let me tell you something real quick. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something about this man. Because this man is manipulating. This man is manipulative. And if you look, I don't really like his energy. This, 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 um, magician card. I don't really care for his energy. Because, you know, he fit, look, he, his body, he know his sex appeal. And just, he know how to, he know what to do. He know what to say. And he confident about it. You see what I'm saying? He confident about he not it's not it's he, don't ever put it against this person that they won't go and conjure up some bullshit or try to do some manipulation on you to get their way. Don't don't put it past this person. This person is the magician. This is what they do. You feel what I'm saying? This is what they do. This is somebody that, yes, you feel like this is your soulmate. You did feel like this is your soulmate. And the divine masculine feels that they, that y'all are soulmates. Now, for whatever reason. This person feels like y'all are soulmates. But, listen. Spirit is trying to tell you. I don't give a fuck what this person is trying to now come across and try to convince you like man you're my soulmate we need, we're supposed to be together we need to work this out this this and that i see how you learn and i see how you grow and you've been looking so beautiful lately like i feel like these are the messages these are the messages that the libra female is blocking you're so beautiful like you're my soulmate and this this and that and you know i know now that like, i see how look i see how beautiful that you like this person is seeing Girl, mm -mm. let me tell you something. Regardless of the fact if you feel like this is your soulmate or if this, if this divine masculine feels like y'all are soulmate, this relationship is over and Libra has released, has released this person. Has released this person. Do you see what I'm saying? Because... There was a lot of deceptive behavior going on with this divine masculine character that the Libra didn't see. Do you see what I'm saying? And the Libra decided, listen, I don't want to be in this commitment no more. I did feel indeed, and I still do feel like maybe you are. And you know, sometimes soulmates are not meant to be around forever all the time. They are solely meant to come in your life to teach you a divine lesson and for the Libra female, it was to teach them how to be their empress and that self-worth. Remember, we said that the Libra females, they were reinventing themselves. The Libra men, they were reinventing themselves. They are learning self-worth. They are learning. Listen, especially Libra men, they're like, I'm not about to be sitting here giving, 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 trying to take care and, and, and 
provide in a situation where someone who is being deceptive and is just trying to take advantage of me. I'm not doing that shit. And this is this person is a manipulative piece of shit. I see you for what you are. I don't want to be with you no more. And I'm getting over you. So, you know, I can't continue to close my eyes and act like I don't see this deception. Okay? And also, like I said, in regards to this divine masculine, this magician, okay, this divine masculine energy, this magician, they want you, they are trying to use their powers to get you to see that y'all are soulmates. This marriage ended. They want you to work on this. Remember, this magician wants you to work on something. They want you to work on healing this relationship. But mind you, when y'all were together, you see how she's looking all lovingly at him? Look how he looking at her like, I don't even know if I even really like you like that, bitch. I just married you because your family rich and shit like that. I don't give a fuck about you, bitch. I'm about to go all at my side, bitch. Like, that's the way he's looking. He's not looking as warming and inviting and happy and joyful at the fact that they're married and that they're in this union and that they're living together or together. It doesn't matter if you were married or not. Y'all could have been just living with each other or just together, period. You know? Mm -mm. This person wants you to work on this. This person wants you to come back. Do you understand? This person, this is what this magician wants you to work on. Wants you to see that y'all are soulmates and want you this and want you to work on this foul, this failed marriage, this failed commitment. Okay. This person sees you releasing, releasing them slowly. As we said, Libra is stepping away from those toxic addictions. And this magician, divine masculine. They see you releasing, Libra. And they don't want you to see their deceptive behavior. They want to keep you blinded by this. And that's why they use this manipulation to control you. Ain't that some shit? Please give me some additional guidance and love. And then we're going to move on. We're going to find out what's going on with the Divine Feminine. And then we are here, y'all. I hope y'all like this video. Y'all give me them. Y'all hit them thumbs up if y'all liking this video. If this is resonating, why is it not connecting? It is not something is not connecting, y'all. And y'all know what song is playing in the background? That's Summer Walker settling. Okay. Libra's like I'm not settling for nobody. I'm the Empress. I can create. A whole new environment for me that's way more comfortable and, 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 you know, that's way more better for me. Purge. Barrier. God. Tribe. Hmm. 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 All right. So... This divine masculine, this magician, they feel like, listen, they got lost in the purge, okay? Libra came and purged, and when they were purging, they got lost out in the shuffle, all right? This divine masculine feels like Libra cleaned house and not only did they did did they do did they do that they purged they cleaned that person that toxicity out of their house and they put up a wall they put up a barrier that is so tall that is so ridiculously sturdy that is almost impossible to get over and this divine masculine feels like i know you washed me out of you wiped me out of your life you're not listening to my messages. You, you, you're, you know, you're growing. I see, I see you. You know what I'm saying? You holding yourself back from me. You're not communicating. You being stingy. You know, you don't want to work on shit with me. But this is something. This is a barrier that I know eventually. I'm, a, I can, I'm, a, I'm gonna figure out how to scale this wall, and I'm gonna get over this burden, this barrier. Do you see? 
So they feel like they're going to find a guiding light. They feel like they're going to find them a guiding light that is going to lead them back to their family. Okay? All right? Because this is someone by themselves, and this is, you know, someone else. So I feel like this could be a single man. This man, I don't, I'm not really honestly getting that this is a man that you have kids with. I feel like this is someone that you and your child were living in a house together and you invited this man into your family. Do you see what I'm saying? This was an already made family. And this person is trying to figure out a way. They got purged. They got washed out. Spam block deleted. They want to find a way over this wall. Over this barrier. And they're figuring out. They're using their intuition to use their God and light to get them back to this tribe. To this family. Because at the end of the day. They did not see the big picture. They did not see the big picture. And I feel like they lost their dreams. They lost their hope. They lost their ambition. Ever since. It was a disconnect from this tribe. I really do. Let me do one one deep. I'm lying. I'm about to do a little bit more. Then I'm going to go to Divine Feminine. Y'all, this is going to be long. I'm going to try to do a time stamp. I'm going to try to do a time stamp, you guys. So, general energy. And if anybody is watching, um, especially for my moms, if y'all can do a time stamp for me, general energy, Divine Masculine, and Divine Feminine, okay? Please give me guidance in regards to what is going on in the shadows. There's a lot of toxicity. What is going on in the shadows with this divine masculine that is dealing with the Libra ladies? Whoa. Yeah, I told you that this person was angry. I told you this person was angry, bruh. I told you this person was angry that Libra is like, Libra just, just done bossed the fuck up. Libra bossed the fuck up. It's like, I don't need you no more. Like, I, it's, it's not even that. I feel like in the past, like, it said before that it was like a lack of self-worth. I feel like. Libra felt like they needed something. You know what I'm saying? They needed something. And this elephant came along and Libra allowed this elephant to come and invite this person into their tribe. But this person, this person at that time did not see the big dream of the situation. They did not see the big picture. You know? They weren't using their intuition and they were... Doing fuck shit. They had to been doing fuck shit for Libra to just get up and, and, and walk away like that and purge. Libra purged. And threw you away. And now you're trying to cl climb a wall. You're trying to climb a barrier. You're trying to find a God and light to lead you. You're trying to find out what magic, what tricks, what, what you can do. Because this person does not want Libra to fully walk away. And this person now, I feel like it might be an obsession almost at this point. Because I don't think this person is used to rejection. Libra, I don't think this person, it, it might not be, especially not used to rejection by this Libra. And like I said, this person, look at this person. It's pissed the fuck off. And I don't even think they know for sure if Libra got another man or not. But I feel like this person does suspect that Libra is, is somewhere else. And you have not been responding to this person's messages. And this motherfucker is pissed off. Because these messages of love. This, these messages of these chivalrous messages. These, you know, words of sweet nothing. They falling on deaf ears. Because Libra is like, nigga please. <laughs> nigga please and they can't walk away cause it's just like I ain't never 
they ain't never been rejected like this. It's like, stop repelling me. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is not repelled by Libra anymore. When they had Libra there, they did not look at Libra like they were this empress. They did not see Libra as the empress. They were repelled by Libra. It's like when you got it in your possession, you don't care about it. You don't appreciate it. You don't give a fuck about it because you know it's always going to be there. But it's something about when that shit ain't there no more, bitch. It's like, uh-huh, where you going? Where you going? Like, what do you mean? I do love you. I'm not repelled by you. I feel like this person at one point in time made Libra feel, felt like they were repelled, like, probably gave off the, the impression like they looked at Libra like they were the empress in reverse almost like someone that wasn't beautiful someone who didn't keep their body together you know what I'm saying like they made Libra feel like they weren't deserving like they weren't beautiful and I feel like ever since Libra has walked away and washed all of this bullshit out. Libra has been taking care of their body. They've been, I mean, they've been in the finest fabrics. And especially now that Libra ain't taking care of you. Libra got more money to buy clothes. and look. Libra be out here looking good. Looking damn good. Looking damn good. And this shit makes this motherfucker mad. Vengeful. Vengeful. And for my Libra females, I want y'all to watch out because this person, this person, like I said, is, 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 is willing to use magic and trickery to get you, to get you to work with them in a situation that you walked away from. They, they cannot, they cannot fill a void. They cannot fill this void that Libra was feeling in their life okay they don't like um i feel like their life is so unpredictable now i feel like when libra was there it was predictable they knew they had safety they knew they had comfort they knew they were getting paid or that they you know that libra was getting paid and that money was coming to house or you know, it was predictable. They knew it was comfortable. Right now, their life is not predictable. And I feel like it's make them vengeful because, like, they, like they, I feel like they out here on their own. You see what I'm saying? Like, they out here on their own having to fend for themselves. And I feel like Libra always provided that comfort. Libra was always comforting, very nurturing, very giving, very, you know what I'm saying? Very motherly. To this person. And Libra is, is not doing that no more. Libra is holding herself back. Like nigga I'm sleep on you. <sighs> Facts. Okay. So what, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? I, I learned a long time ago. This is the Libra female. I learned a long time ago to stop choosing you. I kept over and over and over and over and over again. Kept trying to work this shit out with you. I kept trying to do it. I learned to stop choosing you and choose myself. Libra is loving. The Libra females are loving themselves now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whoever this divine masculine is, this magician is trying to almost use his powers to force Libra to see that they need to work on this with them. Because their life is unpredictable now. They can't feel this void and it's making them vengeful. Because now they see they're not repelled. Now they see the love. Now they see. Now they want to come back. Because when they were there, they weren't there. Now they don't want to walk away. So, there we go. Let me give you some last little words of advice. And then we're going on to the Divine Feminine. To the Libra men who are dealing with their divine feminine. Alright, please give divine masculine guidance. Guidance on God to divine masculine. Alright. So in regards to this divine masculine, this magician, there'll never be truth. There'll never be clarity. In order for there to be truth and clarity, there really needs to be like some growth. There needs to be some elevation. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
It needs to be some elevation. I see a very rough and rugged and cold terrain. I feel like this person is very cold and very distant emotionally. And this person really does not... Um, this divine masculine, this magician, this person, this is the ace of um, the ace of swords. This person, like we said in the beginning, puts Libra in a situation where they're not able to think straight because this person only gives certain truths. They only give you what you need to know. And Libra always has to go and elevate herself and go and soar to go find out what the true meat and potatoes is of the situation believer is decided i'm never going to find truth and clarity in this situation it's better for me to take my look this is victory the only victory for me is for me to soar and elevate myself it's too cold here they don't got it to do do you understand this is a burden and if Libra continues to entertain the situation with this divine masculine do you understand Libra females this magician you will always be carrying a burden that will be cemented and set in stone. That will be what your life will be for the rest of your life. And that may be what this magician wants you to see. This is something that you need to accept. Okay? I'm going to be with other people. There's going to be other people in the mix. You need to accept it. It's a burden that you're just going to have to fucking carry. And get it in your head. This is your life. This is the statue. You will always be... You will always be this worker carrying this burden in this relationship. What more truth and clarity do you need to see? That's all you need to know. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? This is uh, the queen of pentacles in reverse. Do you understand? So in regards to this divine masculine, this is someone that there'll never be truth and clarity. That you'll be carrying the burden and you'll always have to work harder than this motherfucker. You will always have to work harder and carry more of a burden than this person in order for the situation to last. You see how fucked up? You see how battered and, and, and beaten and bruised and just worn out her chair is? And that's why the divine masculine runs back to this Libra because they know that this Libra is going to work hard. And they always see that this Libra is someone who is going to work hard to try to keep the family together you see what I'm saying this is that knight of wands this person this Libra feels like the only thing I have to do is rush forward passionately vigorously and still be determined this person is going to listen to me because when I get my passions going this person I know how to this person is um I feel like this person is a very good lover and this person is very charming and this person has a very good looking body. This person is athletic and stuff. And this this person is very in and out. It's not anyone there that is stable. Someone is going to be there for a long haul. They're only there for when the going is, is it's, you know, it's when the fire is hot. It's only while the fire is hot. You'll always carry this burden, this person to be in and out, and you'll always have to work harder to keep the fire burning, to keep this divine masculine coming to you, all right? And this is the judgment card. Do you see? So this is the judgment card. And it doesn't look like the gods are very happy in the verdict here. Do you see? So in regards to this divine masculine... The verdict is no. The verdict is you have to deal with and address and face the energy that you put out. So at the end of the day, you want this person to be blinded in truth. You don't want this person to know the truth about who you are, what your real motives are. You want this person to constantly carry a burden and work harder than you to keep the relationship and let you come and go as you please. The gods don't like that too much. The gods told the divine masculine, I told Libra to move. I told Libra to block communication. I told Libra that you 
were only a soulmate that was brought to them to teach them a lesson. To teach them a lesson. You were not the true blessing. You were not the true divine masculine. The twin flame. The soulmate that I have designed for them. Okay. So this is the last. So this is what it ends off. Okay. Because this is the other side of that card. This is true love. This is your soulmate. This ain't real. The sun is set on this. It's over. It's over. She's blocked your communication. She don't want to talk to you no more. She told you that up there, didn't she? God told her to move away. Not only has she moved away, and you're right. It does look like somebody is over there helping her. So it does look like the Divine Feminine, the Libra. She does have someone over there that is courting her or that will be courting her very soon that is going to help her get over this situation because it's justified. Everything that this person, that this magician has done, it's justified. And this magician is getting their karma. You only in there for when the getting is good. And when it benefits you and when the flame is hot. This woman would have to work way more harder than this man ever would have put the work in. Okay? And as soon as it's time for this person to put the work in, this person back out the door trying to find somewhere else to get their dick with. That's the burden that Libra would have been carrying forever, 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 forever. And that's the truth that Libra didn't see. But Libra decided to elevate herself. So, that has been the message for the Divine Masculine. So, if anybody that is a Libra and you guys have been trying to figure out what's been going on with y'all Divine Masculine. That is, instead of um, collective, collective twin flame energy and you know divine masculine divine feminine reads that i do this is your collective for your sign directly and i really don't break this down by signs like that so this is a treat for you because y'all are most viewed so let's do the same let's get into divine feminine all right so let's find out for my libra men that are dealing with their divine feminine what is the energy of their divine feminine what is the energy of Libra divine feminine please tell me what is the energy for the divine feminines that our Libra males are dealing with thank you so much Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, okay. Woo, the Death card. Okay, a reverse. What we got here? In the Devil, woo! There go that goddamn toxicity. Mm, 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 mm. Look like somebody can't seem to. Ooh, there go that, there go that Empress in reverse. Oh, this is a lot right here. All right, we're going to read it. We're going to read it. We're going to see what's going on, y'all. Okay, so listen. Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Oh. Oh, they go the Emperor. The Emperor, the Empress. Yep, Twin Flame for real. Okay, so listen. This is what's going on in regards to the females that the Libra men might be dealing with. Alright, so this female here, it seems like she's not very comfortable right now. She's not very comfortable right now. I feel like she is still very much so used to your love and the attachment and just it's like you guys, you guys here, I feel like <laughs> It's like an ongoing, ongoing, ongoing cycle here. It's an ongoing, ongoing cycle. And I feel like it makes this this divine feminine woman very uncomfortable. Um, I feel like this woman, she hasn't been eating well. She hasn't been taking care of herself. Um, I feel like she could possibly be um, like... 
she 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 might be uh uh if she drinks a lot she might be drinking a lot i see like this person is like very heartbroken by the fact that um you guys are not together right now and this person just really wants some type of truth and clarity as to how the Libra male feels. And I see that she's been trying to communicate. She's probably been sending you a lot of messages and just trying to... I feel like for whatever reasons, uh, the Libra men might have decided that this situation was toxic. Because I feel like they, they look at the Libra men, look at this woman like she's toxic. Um, I don't think that this... this the Libra men look at this woman as if she, they don't look at this woman as if she is, um, wife, wifey material. She's not wifey material. And, um, yeah, this woman is trying to avoid the ending of this situation with this Libra man, but this is toxic. This is toxic. It's toxic indeed. And I feel like this Empress in reverse, she needs to get herself together. She needs to pull herself together. Because at the end of the day, you're looking for truth and you're looking for clarity. And this woman is really just trying to find out how the Libra man really feels about them. This Divine Feminine is trying to figure out. And that's why she's been sending a lot of communication. Excuse me, let me close this door. That's why there's been a lot of communication. And like I said, this is retrograde. So if you guys have not been speaking to each other recently, I definitely feel like there might be some communication from this Divine Feminine to my Libra men because this woman wants to avoid this ending. She's not really ready for things to end. Do you feel what I'm saying? I feel like this woman, she has a lot of toxic addictions and patterns and behavior. I feel like it comes from her upbringing. So this is specifically for my Libra men, okay? This woman that are dealing with, you know, whoever they're in love with, okay? Whoever they consider their divine feminine. This woman has a very toxic upbringing. I don't think that they really had anyone to truly show them how to be a woman um, and how to clean the house and how to cook clean and take care. Like, And I just don't, I don't feel like that the Libra men felt like this was attractive. This was attractive, but this woman, I feel like she's beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, I feel like this this woman that the the Libra men are dealing with, just she just got a lot of shit with her, and it's still alive and kicking. Do you you see what I'm saying? It's still alive and kicking. I feel like this woman could possibly, and she, and the devil has a penis in his hand, so I want to say like this woman could have like a sex addiction. This man could possibly feel like this woman that they're dealing with and that they're they're trying to get away from because this this sleeper man feels like it's toxic. It's toxic. And they see the communication. They see the communication, but at the same time, I feel like the Libra men are not paying any attention to it because they feel like the only thing that this woman wants is dead. You know what I'm saying? Like they feel like that's the only thing that this woman wants is dick. And it's like, stop trying, stop trying to avoid, stop trying to avoid this ending with sex. Like that's basically what's happening. So I feel like this this Empress in reverse is sending a lot of communication to the uh, Libra male wanting sex, trying to avoid the ending and trying to see if they can get this person in bed. If they can control this person with sex, if they can figure out what the true meanings and what the true feelings of this person is and how to kind of weasel their way back into this person's good graces because they don't want this to end. This person is addicted to Libra sex. Do you see what I'm saying? And maybe this person just doesn't know how to get themselves together. So this is the Ace of Pentacles right here. This is the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So... The Libra, the Libra male, I feel like their whole thing is right now, they just want new beginnings. This Libra male wants new beginnings. And I feel like in regards to love, like this divine feminine that they're dealing with, 
they really, really did want new beginnings with this person, but they know that at the end of the day, it would never work out because I don't feel like the Libra male is willing to put the work in that it really needs to, you know, either the Libra male is not willing to put it in or this divine feminine that they're dealing with. This one is trying to, you know, send these messages, trying to see if they can slide back in and get some sex and shit like that. They feel like this person is not willing to put the work in to turn things around and turn herself around because this Libra man feels like it's certain shit about her that she needs to change because she's toxic. And um, Libra man just, I mean, the Libra man just wants, wants new beginnings, wants new beginnings. And they don't want to work on shit with anybody from the past. This is Six of Swords. Okay, in reverse. So this is somebody, and this, then this is the Six of Cups. Someone thinking that there's all of this shit in the past, bruh. All this shit in the past is like, I don't, I don't. Lead the Libra man, they want new beginnings. He wants new beginnings, okay? He doesn't want to work on anything from the past. He doesn't want to work on anything from the past, all right? He already mentally decided to move on, okay? He already mentally decided to move on. That this doesn't resonate with him anymore. Mentally. He's clear on that. And it's like this divine feminine. I feel like she wishes that this man would give to her again. She looks back and she reminisces. And you know maybe certain things. Certain like she might go in a grocery store and see these flowers or something like that. And be like oh you know. Libra used to buy me flowers, like, you know, every other Friday and stuff like that when I would come home from work. And, you know, just little things that just make her think back about this and, and think about how good the sex was and everything. And this person is like, man, I'm about to send him a message. Like, if I can just get him to let me get him in bed, <laughs> all right, I'm going to find out what it is that I really need to do. To get him back in my good. I'm, I'm going to figure it out. Because I've been thinking about this person a lot. And I want to go back to my ex. Like this is what this, this woman is thinking about. But I don't think that she knows how to put the work in. I don't think that she knows how to put the work in for real. I don't think that she knows how to put the work in. But at the end of the day. She wants a new beginning. With this Libra. But he ain't willing to put the work in with her. And he likes Slim. Please stop. Like, I already, I moved away for a reason. I'm not coming back to that. I need something that's emotionally and fulfilling for me. Someone who's always going to give to me all of the time. In the present. Not someone that's thinking back to the past, thinking that they wish that they could have did shit better. Nah, woulda, shoulda, coulda. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit because at the end of the day, like, you told me I wasn't the man for you. You told me, you know, to... I wasn't working hard enough. You told me that I wasn't, you know, attentive to you, that I, I don't protect you enough, that I don't provide enough. Like everything that I try to do, you put me down and you told me that it wasn't enough. Right? Because you was out here chasing dick. Right? You was out here being a little nasty little bitch chasing dick. Trying to see who, who got the biggest, who got the biggest wand. This empress, this emperor in reverse. I feel like both of y'all, both of you guys, both of you guys have canceled each other out. Like both of you guys' energies put both of you guys in reverse with each other. He look at you like you, he look at the woman like, because I don't want to be mean. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. Like he look at her like she be out there, like as beautiful as you are. This shit right here, this shit right here. Where did, no? This shit right here makes her completely repulsive to him. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like you toxic as shit. And it's like, for some reason, you just can't get over the fact that I don't want to be with you no more. And that shit's just making me look at you like you a little bit crazy. And you're a little bit obsessed. 
And not only that, I feel like they look, they don't even look at her like, they don't look at her the same anymore. Like she's, she's beautiful as the way, because the, the Libra man just don't look at this empress the same way no more. He don't look at her the same way no more. As beautiful as he thought that she was in the beginning, he looks at her with totally different eyes now. Because I really do feel like, I really do feel like she made him feel like he wasn't working hard enough. He wasn't strong enough. Like, you know, the way she looked at him, he looks at her like that now. And now he's not looking for no backwards ass empress. He want a queen of wands. He wants someone who's passionate, who's driven, who's sexy. Yeah, you sexy. You the empress. You sexy. But there's other bad bitches out there. And this Libra man might be currently dating a Sagittarius, a Aries, or a Leo woman. All right? Boss bitch. A fixed sign. Not somebody that is, you know... You know, probably dating a Sagittarius, a fixed sign, someone who is not going to be all around the place chasing dead. And like this woman wants him back and she's trying to avoid this ending and leave. And, and I feel like the Libra man is not happening. Please give me. Guidance and love in regards to this divine feminine situation for the men. Offer grief, lack of admiration. This Libra man feels like the only thing that this divine feminine can offer him is 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 grief and lack of admiration, and it's ongoing cycles. And if he gets back with her, he will regret it. He will regret it. <laughs> He like, nigga, I got free will to, <laughs> to do, to find happiness. This Libra man said he has free will to find happiness. This is how he feels about this divine feminine. Do you see what I'm saying? He has free will to find happiness. But he does not want to be in his union. Do you understand? Do you understand? In regards to this divine feminine, the only thing that this person has to offer is grief. And lack of admiration. The same thing that they were offering before. Okay? Whole bunch of drama. And someone that, that, that make them feel like they're not offering it enough. And if I'm not offering enough, I don't have to offer you anything at all. And someone always running around chasing offers. That's how this Libra man views this person. Okay? Bought him a lot of grief. Didn't make this, they didn't make him feel appreciated and loved. This is an ongoing cycle, ongoing, ongoing, ongoing cycle. And Libra man had to use his intuition in regards to this divine feminine because this is a cycle that they've been through on and on and on and on. And they, they will regret this if they get themselves back into the situation with this divine feminine. Okay? They have free will to decide. I want something better and I want to use this intuition that I have <laughs> and use it for granted. I don't need to be in this union. This is something that is toxic and I told y'all from the beginning it was toxic. I believe in the general energy like it was like saying that there was some level of toxicity going on there. and that Libra was saying that they don't, they're not accepting toxicity. It don't mean, it don't matter have to be Libra male, Libra female. Because, especially in this spread, whoever, whatever women that some of these Libra men be dealing with, these, these girls are toxic. And here we go, because this Empress in reverse, I wanted to say that, but I didn't want to say that. Like, they, the, the Libra man looks at her like, you don't take care of your children, your house be dirty. Like, you just, you ain't, 
you not wifey material, bruh. They they wouldn't want to have children by you. And it's like, why am I going to continue to be in a situation with someone that I don't trust? And you running around chasing debt. I feel like this Libra man felt like they had to constantly look behind their back to figure out what was going on. Like who this empress was running around offering herself to. And they regretted getting into the situation with her because every time this Libra man would try to talk to her about shit or just whatever. It was just like this person would talk down on him and just didn't make him feel admired and respected as a man. And I feel like this Libra man, he was the emperor. He was providing. He was protecting. He was, you know, he was doing the best the fuck that he could. But this one was telling him she he won shit. You see? So, this young man decided, listen, this situation reminds me very much so of some shit from my family. Like some toxic shit going on in the family. And I do feel like in regards to this divine feminine, I feel like this woman has a lot of stuff uh, that has to do with her childhood that don't have nothing to do with you. And I feel like the Libra man is telling this woman, like, you need to go and get some help. And, you know, and then maybe maybe that's the thing, like, you know, wanting this person to get help and fix certain things with their self. And this person doesn't really want to get help. This person doesn't want to address certain shit that they went through in their family life that might be having them doing the things that they're doing. And, you know, it's like, listen, you remind me too much of someone that I was with in my past that had issues like you and that didn't want to get help and that relationship was toxic too I don't want to do this because at the end of the day you got too many kids that you already not taking care of and I don't want to be one of those niggas that you know is one of the excuses why you not doing what you're supposed to be doing as a mother I gotta free myself from this situation because you're toxic and I just don't feel I feel like the, the, this this Libra man feels like this woman is too, is too busy chasing negative addictions and shit like that. And she's not cleaning her house. She's not taking care of her kids. She's not being a good mother. She's kind of been letting herself go. You know, like, I feel like before, like, she was looking real pretty and things like that. And I feel like ever since they broke up, like, she might have maybe gained, like, a couple pounds or some shit like that. And he's like, man, you don't even look as good as you did used to look before anyway. And you just offering yourself all over the place. I feel like this woman reminds him of, like, a cousin, an auntie, or, like I said, a relationship that he had in the past with somebody. And he's like, I can't do that shit. I'm not, I'm not about to do that. Find out, let's find out what's going on in the shadows in regards to the situation with this divine feminine that the legal men are dealing with. What's going on in the shadows with her? Please give me guidance. Non-action. Childish. Warning. What's the warning? Elusive, faithless, okay, all right, so this is, this is some information about what could be going on in the shadow in regards to this, um, the divine feminine, so right now, I feel like this woman, I feel like this woman, she's been a little bit standoffish with you and y'all haven't talked in a minute. And like I said, she's trying to communicate with you now because she hasn't been speaking to you in the past because she felt like you guys uh, were like having a lot of childish back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I think that Eventually, she's going to take a non-action approach and going to stop communicating because she's going to realize that this shit is childish. Okay? I feel like um, she wasn't paying attention to the warning of how elusive that you were to her. 
you weren't really, I feel like the Libra man wasn't really offering himself to, to her like that. So it's just like, this is childish me keep sending these messages when this person is, is, is not being active towards me. You know what I'm saying? They're not giving me the green light, showing me that they are receptive to my advances. And it's like, you know, they weren't paying attention to the warning of your elusiveness, you know? They weren't, they weren't. I feel like this girl, this girl, it says faithless. I want, I want to, I want to get some clarity in regards to this faithless. Why is she faithless? I just feel like this girl has lack of, this girl has lack of, um, She just has a lack of guidance. I feel like this girl just really has a lack of guidance. New beginning. I feel like this girl just had like a really bad childhood. She just didn't really have like a lot of guidance in her childhood. Okay. All right. The new be Okay. This this person wants you to. This person wants you to. Mm, mm. 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 Okay, so this is what I'm getting. In regards to to clarify this 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 faithless card, okay? I don't feel like this girl. Let me let me pause this, honey, because I need to hear what I'm saying, honey. So listen, the Libra man has been taking a non-active approach, okay? He has not been really receptive to her trying to communicate with him, because she's trying to avoid an ending, all right? Because she's still addicted to him, and I feel like this girl is addicted to sex. Libra looks at her in a way that she probably doesn't realize that Libra looks at her. Okay? And she's realizing I need to take a non-active approach because Libra is taking a non-active approach. And this is childish, okay? This is childish. I wasn't paying attention to the warning signs. This person was clearly being elusive to me, but I was ignoring it, okay? This is a situation where, you know, I was trying to have faith in it. But I'm losing my faith. I'm losing my faith. Because at the end of the day, look. I know I want this passionate new beginning. I want him to accept this offer. But I know that Libra knows good and goddamn well that I'm not emotionally together. One minute I'm hot, one minute I'm cold with him. You know what I'm saying? And he knows that I'm going to break his heart again. You know, this is third party again, third party. I feel like this woman, she has, she has an older man, okay? And she has a younger man in her energy. Like, I feel like she just has a lot of people that she talks to. And this is not going, this, this is not... Libra doesn't have any faith in the situation. Libra doesn't have any faith in the situation. And it's like, this is what this lady is trying to pull off. I feel like she's already dealing with a king of wands and a page of cups. She got a little young junk that she's talking to that she be messaging with. Probably not fucking her right now. But this one is trying to start. You know, new beginnings, new life with this divine feminine. It also has an older man, okay? A king of wands. And it's like I'm not I'm not about to be no third. I'm not about to be no third in this situation. Like, no, no, no. Where do I fit in? I don't. No. No. And Libra knows this. Libra knows this. It's like how you gonna try to how you gonna try to start a new beginning with me 
when really only thing you want is sex. Like only thing you want is sex. And until you're ready to tear down that foundation and all this sex addiction and shit that you no, you're not coming to me until you can tear this shit down. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to accept your solid offer. That's the only way it's gonna be solid to me is if you tear this shit down. You gotta burn this shit down. And you need to learn how to control your fucking passions. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not dealing with this whole ass shit. I'm, I'm not dealing with this shit. Cause you you too unstable. You too emotionally unstable. You too emotionally unstable. And because of that, you break too many hearts. And you're not about to keep you not about to keep playing with me. Dealing with this nigga, that nigga. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And this woman, she's losing faith in it, but she's not insecure. She's not insecure. I feel like she's not letting it beat her emotionally. She's losing faith, but she's not losing her, you know, because she still, she still believes that she can avoid this ending. She still believes this avoid this ending, but she thinks right now it's just best for her to mirror your energy and be not active and cold at the moment. To be not active and cold at the moment, you guys. That's crazy, bruh. It's like on a male Libra situation and a female Libra situation. It's the same. It's basically the same energy. Y'all both are dealing with people that y'all feel are toxic to y'all. And that you guys just don't, you know. <laughs> You're like, no. I'm not going to do it. So, let's get one last overall collective parting message for the collective sign of Libra. Singles. Boom. Let's get a collective message for Libra singles. Boom. Please give me guidance for the Libra singles. Thank you. Please give me guidance for single Libras. King of Wands, boom. King of Wands. Ten of Cups in reverse. Queen of Wands. The Hermit. I feel like y'all just y'all just um experienced the breakup. They go the devil again and the fucking fool. Fuck. Like, what the fuck is up with this devil card, Libra? What in the fuck, bruh? Come on. Come on, Mo. I heard. At least you walking away. You walking away knowing the shit. I done worked hard. All right, let's see what we got going on with our Libras. All right, so I feel like, should I read it this way? We started off here. So, for the Libra singles, you guys are starting off this month. Listen, this is that divine masculine, that divine feminine energy. I feel like you and the person that you with were with. Um, there was a breakup. There was a ending to a relationship, to a family. It's over. It's over for both of the Libra men and the Libra females. I feel like right now, both of you guys have asserted yourself. And y'all are sitting very passionately on y'all's throne. Like right now, you guys are just very passionate and driven right now. And you guys have ended a commitment that wasn't working for you no more. And that's fine. That's fine. That is fine. Because you guys have gone through a, a stage right now where you're resting. You're resting. I don't feel like you are too much in search of a relationship or commitment right now. Um, you're resting. And you're just getting your thoughts and shit together because you are battling still levels of a toxic addiction. Because these people... With this 
this low vibrational energy, they are still trying to attach themselves to y'all. You see what I'm saying? So this is still something that y'all are having to fight every day. Continue to fight this every day. Do not give in to this. Do you understand? Continue to be the fool. And be guided by your faith and your intuition. It don't matter what people think. It don't matter how people view you. You know what's best for you. You be followed by your own intuition. Alright? Don't sit and wait for nobody to send you no message back. Letting you know it's safe to travel. It's safe for you to move forward. If you feel passionately in your heart that it's time for you to move forward, move forward. Don't be sitting there waiting for your ships to sail in. Sometimes you got to go through and you got to build your own fucking ships. It's time to move. Move, Libra. Do you understand? You've already... You've already avoided true devastation. I feel like... I feel like you were already backstabbed and betrayed very bad by this person that you were dealing with. However, you avoided... you. I feel like, Libra, you truly avoided it. It, it, it could have got worse. This person could have dragged and scraped your face and your whole skin through the pits of hell if you'd have stayed there any longer. And, and ever since that you decided to close that chapter and not mentally give yourself to that shit no more, you have found true happiness and freedom. Like that free will card? Where that free will card? That nigga said, Libra said, I got free will to choose happiness. I don't got time for this bullshit. And that's what you've done. I feel like some of y'all... Listen, y'all been seeing a lot of that Empress card out there. If there's anybody that has been dealing with someone new, be careful if you guys do not want to have children because there might be a child on the way, possibly twins. Okay? But Libra is in a point right now where they have truly found happiness. And I believe for the um, Libra men, I said that they have found a Queen of Wands and clearly listen. It says right here, Libra man is very passionate and driven. They are sound and stable, hardworking. That family is over. It was demolished, depleted. And right after that ending, they walked into this. A very sexy, someone who matches his energy. Do you see what I'm saying? And it's like... Ever since that you stopped giving your mind to this and you walked away into true happiness, illumination, freedom, joy. And now it's finally time for you to collect from your harvest. All that hard work, all that good work that you put out there in the energy, in the, in the, all that good work in that energy that you put out in the universe. Even though the person, this empress in reverse, she didn't want to receive it because she wasn't meant to receive it. But guess who, who was? This queen of wands though. This queen of wands. And you said, you know what? I'm about to go ahead and take what I got and I'm about to move forward. To someone who's just as passionate for me as I'm as passionate for them. You're on the, and I believe the whole spread started out with the Six of Cups. Someone who's giving and receiving that is willing to give to me the same amount that I'm able to give to them. Equality. And that's what this whole reading is about. Equality. Blocking out toxic addictions. addictions looking for equality and true love. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I know that this was long. Y'all guys um, hook me up with the timestamps. I love y'all love and light. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Peace.